Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about multi-select component where kit count of item in a multi-select dropdown. So selected item count will appear on the dropdown header. So before getting started with this uh, selected count, we'll look at the previous one. The previous video which is created for the multi-select and where we are getting selected all those items and appearing on the drop down header so it was like this where we get the selected item appear over here and this is the auto layout where it is getting increased the height of this so just a small resolution on this suppose if we want to give the count instead of getting selected and appearing here we can use this method and we can show in a multi select either just a two item or appearing the count of the selected item so let's see how this is created so this is just a component and uh, we can use it and this is very easy trick to get the count of the item in the drop down header so here it is the component and the variants are like uh, we can see here we have the states unchecked checked disabled unchecked disabled unchecked and this is the header which is making help to create the group of the list so we look at this example now So in this example, you can see the selected skill set is zero and the appearing by default check is three. So now we'll come to the variable. So you can see here just a selected count is given zero. So now I'm going three and the drop down list, which is true here can make it false drop down header chevron up and down so now it will preview and before that how the selected count is working we'll look at here so we we'll go to the prototype and you can see this is connected to the each other and here the selected count the script is giving here like a selected count selected count plus one and whereas in the while it is selected means while it is checked the count is getting decrease and while it is unchecked the count is getting increase in other state it is the interaction is not given so if i click or tap on that the count won't get increase or decrease So you can see here the selected count is three because the selected item is three. And while I touch on this or tap on this, it is getting increased with four, five. And here interaction is not given six, seven. And like this, it is getting increased and decreased while I'm deselecting this. So uh, this is how easy you can see uh, this is the drop down header which is in auto layout and uh, the interaction is given here just for toggling the drop down list and how we can see the drop down list so here in design local uh, local variable we can go here and we can make it true and we can see this now will come here in a drop down list you can see i have used this drop uh, drop down from the asset i have just drag and drop the multi select count and uh, in multi select count 
we can change the state of this and if we want to add the more element in this so this is the last one just we copy and paste it will get increased and you can increase this height and it is given html so suppose if i am giving here the name as or if i want to check give as a disable unchecked or a disable checked so disable checked this is the selected one and this is disable so here interaction is not given so if we want to increase with the one so it will increase with the one which we can give it in a local variable as a four and this count will increase as a four if we don't want to give the unchecked one so we can decrease this count as a three or just assume this is zero and this all are here instead of html just i am giving here is a typescript so in typescript it is given and this is instead of deselect or here disable so we can give as a unchecked and this also we can make it as a uncheck and this and this we can make it unchecked so now this the count is zero which is given here so whatever if you want to select you can change the state and you can give it as a selected and if it is a unchecked or unselected you can make the state as per use now i'm going to hide this drop down list and here i'm going to preview again So now you will get here so this is the type script so you can add number of elements here because it is used the auto layout and easily you can make the list with the group and here it will get increase and decrease the value while you are tapping or clicking on this so this is the very easiest way to create this multi select get selected count and uh, suppose if you want to add more items in a group how we can do that we'll see here so true drop down list and it will appear here suppose if i want to add some other uh, skill set so here is the ux skill set here is a front end skill set and uh, if you want to add it the another one so just copy this paste here so i have added the three new one this is the drop down list so here it is a clip content if you want to give the scroll you can have the scroll because it will get hidden and you can increase this height and here it is a frame so it will appearing four type script and you can make it this and this you can edit So suppose this I am giving as a group. So instead of unchecked, I will say the subheader. And in subheader, we can type here. Database. SQL and here again mysql
and then again come to the local variable make it false and preview again so here you can see I have added the one more group as a database so it will appear here and here we have this so while I like selecting this the count is getting increased and I will select all so now we have the 12 elements and it is grouped as a UX skill set front-end skill set and database and while we deselect or unchecked the count is getting decreased so this is the easiest trick to create multi-select with the selected count and it is in a form of component so easy to drag and drop and create the list as per your usage so how is the video please write on the comment and how is the trick please write your valuable comment this file is available in figma community so i will add the link in a description for today thank you thank you very much